Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Rajavi, I am really very happy uh, that Mrs. Rajavi is here with us today uh, at the beginning of the new Iranian year. I have always admired her courage and that of Iranian women in the movement because she is standing up and they are standing up uh, to one of the most brutal regime in the world. Last year, as it was mentioned, Hassan Rouhani became a new president of Iran. The media was full of information that Rouhani was a moderate man. We could do business with uh, this man. And this is a man who would bring Iran improvements on human rights. But in reality, Rouhani was a man who had been at the heart of this brutal regime for many years. We thought that the human rights situation could not get worse than under the hardline Ahmadinejad, but it has under Rouhani. We thought women's rights could not get worse, but it has. We thought the plight of ethnic minorities and political opponents could not get worse, it has. Not only has Rouhani not made life better for the people of Iran, he has made it worse. During 2013, as it was mentioned, at nearly 700 people, and we cannot overemphasize this terrible fact, were executed with a large percentage of those from the point at, uh, point at which Rouhani came to power. Let me mention a case of a young woman, Rehane Jabari, who has been held in Evin prison since 2007 and is facing the execution for defending herself from being raped by an Iranian intelligent agent. The case of Rehane is an indication of how women are treated in all areas of Iranian legislation from the uh, right of divorce to the right to custody. Iranian women are really far from having equal rights. Difficulties they are facing in education and politics and the women's life itself under the Iranian regime are terrible. As it was mentioned, the European Parliament last week took an important step in passing a resolution condemning the human rights abuses in Iran. In spite of the fact that uh, we could, could consider this uh, resolution as not too strong, Iranian officials have made a hysterical reaction to this resolution. It appears that the Iranian regime fails to understand the need for basic human rights and considers any rebuke of its practices of torture and execution as an attack on its sovereignty. It is right and proper that the regime faces further stronger action over its human rights abuses. The human rights dossier of Iran should be placed before the UN Security Council. The Iranian regime cannot tie our hands over its human rights abuses because we are involved in nuclear negotiations with them. Having in mind what is at stake, I am always so proud, and I was also so proud of supporting Mrs. Rajavi and movement led by her, which has such a heavy female influence throughout its rank and file. I know that with uh, their excellent work and the amazing women, women's movement, which exists inside Iran, change will happen, hopefully, in not too far distance for, uh, in future. Change not in the form of another supposed moderate that delivers nothing, but the regime change to a democratically elected government which has it, uh, its heart equality for women and def defense for basic human rights. Good luck, Mrs. Rajavi. <laughs>